What's up, Savvy Expats? In today's video, we are checking out Single Origin Osteria, located at Salcedo Village near the Jamie C. Velasquez Park. A lot of locals and non-locals alike have told me personally that this is one of their favorite places to have a good cup of coffee and a good breakfast meal to kick off their day. And let's be honest, who doesn't like a good breakfast paired with a good cup of coffee? Because I do love that, I'll be honest with you. So let's check it out, let's see if their testimonies are correct, and let's try it out for ourselves. And just a quick tip, they also do serve uh, lunch meals and dinner meals and they, funnily enough, have all day breakfast. So if you're into that, fantastic. So let's try it out and uh, see for ourselves. So interestingly, they get their coffee beans from uh, South America. Although that may not mean a lot of things in the world of coffee because there's, there's only like a few types of coffee, Arabica, Robustas and whatnot. But uh, they do everything in-house, the way they roast their coffees, the way they press it and everything, which every good coffee shop does and we got classic pancakes and a rice bowl so we have the two choices of which way you want to start your breakfast so if you're a person who's very meticulous about your coffee and i don't blame you because i'm like that sometimes they have a lot of uh, choices here, like uh, Peruvian mocha, Gibraltar, Americano. So you really have everything. And you can pick the method on which, on how you want your coffee to be done. French press, siphon. So yeah, it's a lot of choices here. And for a price, it seems very affordable. And they've also got cocktails, wines, and they've got breakfast meals that have bread in them or rice. So here in the Philippines, a lot of people like to kick off their morning with a good cup of garlic rice and a piece of protein with egg, and also something succulent like a vinegar. But I know not a lot of people are into that, so they also have bread here, pancakes and waffles, a staple among breakfast meals. So really spoiled for choices here. Let's uh, try it out. So here's their uh, coffee. It's an Americano. As you can see, I've drank a lot of it already because it's just that good. Mm. It gives you that coffee effect. You know that coffee effect once you take your first sip, it just hits you and you're just like floating. <laughs> but it's good, it's acidic and it's tough, you know. It tastes like it's roasted well. And uh, recommend it. Cheers. So it's time for the taste test. It looks fantastic in real life. I don't know if it's gonna get the quality just as how I see it in real life, but taste test. Mmm. Wow. That is really, really good. It explodes in your mouth, the pancake. Once you take a bite of it, look how fluffy it is. It just explodes and you taste the sweet butter, the sweet batter and the, the sugar they put on top. It's fantastic. You really can't go wrong with pancakes. Mmm. That's really good. That is amazing. Look at that. Another one. Mm. Every bite is an explosion. Great pancake. Now look at this bowl. It's a fantastic, colorful plate that has the perfect balance between your go grow and glow foods if you're into that kind of things. And look at that, it, lo it looks like a perfect balance between palate cleanser with the meat, with the sauce and everything, and then an additional flavor with the corn. So let's go mix it up. And so now it probably doesn't look as appetizing, but that's a rice bowl, you gotta mix everything. So here we're gonna have a first bite with the rice and uh, vegetables. It looks like coleslaw. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm. That's a very fresh bite. The moment I bit into it it, it, it tastes like the vegetables are fresh, the rice is fresh. I mean, it's a restaurant, they gotta serve fresh, right? But it also closely resembles like a Mexican style dish, very much like a burrito on a plate. So let's try it out this time with the chicken. The chicken adds a different element to the flavor. It tastes like a teriyaki chicken. And if you infuse the flavors of a Japanese teriyaki with like a Mexican cathartical bowl such as this, it creates this like fusion that tastes oddly delicious. So I could go for another bite because it's very, very nice. It's fantastic, delicious. And the vegetables feel like, let's say palate cleanser through everything here with the sauce, the corn and the meat. 
fantastic. Mm. The chicken here is a fantastic piece. It's probably the knife in the dagger or the knife in the heart that seals the deal for everything. It has the perfect char, it's burnt, but not too burnt where you can't enjoy the taste. It's got that perfect smokiness to it and it tastes like a chicken teriyaki with a chicken in a sal and you infuse them together and it creates this bowl where of freshness and goodness and it's great. I highly recommend it when you come check out Single Origin. So for the price breakdown, that meal of a pancake and the rice boat plus the Americano came about to a total of 985.71 pesos. If you're asking how I ate all of that, I have I had my cameraman help me out. It's a lot of food for me. For one person, you could expect maybe just less than 500 pesos. But if you want more, if you're a hungry person, you can always go for two meals and it's gonna cost you less than a thousand pesos, which is below $20, I believe. So that concludes our video, Savvy Expats. Let us know down below what other restaurants you want us to check. If you want us to check a restaurant of a different cuisine or a Filipino cuisine, let us know down below in the comments section. And anything you want us to do, anything you want us to check out, let us know down below and we'll get it done for you. Thanks for watching in today's video, Savvy Expats. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.